I'm Nate, we're back here at Cedar Point today. We're checking out the Frontier Festival. This is part two. If you haven't seen our first video, I'll put a link right above here somewhere. Go ahead and check that out before watching this video. We're gonna be getting some food today at Frontier Festival. Just to let everybody know, Cedar Point did invite us today. They are giving us complimentary vouchers for food and tickets, but all of our opinions are our own. So come with us on this real family vacation. is trail rides. Looks like you can actually ride a horse or a pony. I wonder how much it costs. I think I see 10 bucks. We'll go check it out. It's a very kid friendly area. Yes, there's a petting Pretty zoo. Excellent. Children under four must have a supervising companion. Yeah, this is an area that we have not explored enough. Yeah. We should explore more. It's very kid friendly. Yeah, I like to bring the kids over to the petting zoo. We got a sign maker. Get your sign made. This is also the entrance to the Forbidden Frontier. Which I think is not open yet, but it opens soon. Sometime this month. The barnyard. We got baby goats. You ready? Llama, donkeys. Heading into this old looking building. Old building. <laughs> it's like a cornmeal machine. A grist mill. The J.W. Addington grist mill was built on a Skinner Creek near Franklin, North Carolina. Piece by piece, it was brought to Cedar Point and rebuilt in 1971. The interior looks much the same as it did when Skinner postmaster J.B. Addington built the mill and named it after his son in 1835. The beams are white oak, as are the wood gear systems. Dogwood, which is a sturdier wood, was hand carved to make the rounds and cogs. Well, that's what we're looking at. It's not turning right now, but maybe it turns? It's Saturday, so I'm curious to what the crowds are going to look like compared to Thursday when it was opening day. Weather is also expected to be a lot better today than it was on Thursday. That was day. raining. <laughs> 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. Let's go. What do you want to do first? I want to start with Mrs. Keith's smokehouse. Let's go. Well, Miss Keith's, right? What do they have here? Miss Keith's has mini corn dogs. Chicken chunks, mac and cheese, french fries, and dry rub and smoked chicken wings. What are you gonna get? I get mac and cheese. You wanna get the wings? I want the mini corn dogs. Okay, I'll get mac and cheese. Indoor seating for Miss Keats. We are at Miss Keats Smokehouse. We got the mini corn dogs, mac and cheese, and the dry rub and smoked chicken wings. I will say the chicken wings look different on the picture outside than what we got. But they smell good. What are you gonna try first? Mac and cheese. Check it out. Pretty good. Good? Let me it's try. It's hot. Which was temperature? A complaint I had the first time around, but temperature wise it's hot, it smells good. It tastes kinda like Stoker mac and cheese. Have you ever had that? Mac and cheese. <laughs> Yeah, concur with that. Very Stouffer's. It's good. Love me some Stouffer's, but yeah, six and a half out of ten kernies. Oh, I love me some Stouffer's mac and cheese, so I'm <laughs> gonna go ahead and give that one a, a, a seven out of ten. Here's the corn dog. Good. I give this a seven out of ten because I love corn dogs. Shout out to my friend Barry. He knows I love a good corn dog. Uh, one thing Crystal actually told me, and I didn't even really notice the first bite, but the corn dog here like a funnel cake. It's not like your standard breading on a corn dog. It's like a sweet. So I like it. It's sweet. It's good. I did not. It wasn't my bag. It was good, but it just wasn't my 
If you like funnel cakes, but not on your corn dogs, you might not like this. <laughs> I rub smoked chicken wings. I'm a lover of chicken wings. It's pretty good. I like dipping sauces. They don't come with anything. It has a distinct flavor. Like, I don't know. I can't find the right word to describe it. Paprika's the only one coming to mind. I think maybe they were going to cherry. It's like a cherry themed food. But it's good. It was cooked perfectly, nice and hot and crispy. And I gave it like a 9 out of 10. Woo! It was pretty good. It's exactly what you expected a chicken wing to be. A chicken wing. Yeah, the dry rub and smoke chicken wings. So it doesn't list what flavor it actually is, um, but I agree with you, honey. It's very good. It's a very crispy wing. The wings are big. Like I had one that was a drumstick. It was huge. Not super juicy, but I, it wasn't dry at all. It was like right in the middle, so it was very good. Oh, yeah. Nine out of ten. This is also very good. I put that up there with a steak taco. I have the must do. Mm. It's a nice benefit too that in Miss Keith's smokehouse, you can sit inside. It's not an exceptionally hot day out today, but I imagine if it was, it would be nice to come in here. When we had to get our food though, we actually were standing in the line over there and you don't need to. Right in the beginning of the line when you walk in, there's actually a side section where you go for the tasting samples. Yeah, right and to the left. Right to the, like you come in the door, you go directly left and you can get your food sample instead of waiting in the line um, for the regular food because they do serve food regularly in this area. So here's Miss Keats and if you look, it's like right to the left, right where that sunflower is where you can get your tickets. So this is a panning view of Miss Keats on the inside. So we sat right back there. The chuck wagon where you can get the barbacoa or chicken nachos. This is chicken but nachos. Straight up chicken nachos. It looks like they put nacho cheese, then it was like a corn black bean salsa with regular salsa, sour cream, and it looks like pickled onions. There was an option for barbacoa as well. They're both shredded meat, so. Or jalapenos, but I don't like jalapenos. Yeah, we said no on the jalapenos. How are the nachos? Nachos were good. Chicken nachos. I don't know if they're supposed to be special. There's no like cherry flavoring, but they were good. The chicken was hot. The nachos were not um, stale. Everything was very fresh. It's not very spicy, which is nice because I know not a lot of people like spice, so it was pretty good. For what it was, I don't know, I'll give it an 8 out of 10. Woo! It tasted good, but it it was exactly what you thought. Just like the donut burger from our first video. It was good, exactly what it was advertised, but there's nothing special to it. Alright, nachos. So yeah, we got the chicken nachos. Yeah, 8 out of 10, I agree with that. Very good. 8 out of 10 kernies. There is a little bit of spice in that last bite that I bought, maybe in the salsa, but it's not anything super spicy. It's just mild, mild skin. And I like sour cream, cheese, all good. The chips were crispy. Very good nachos. Eight out of ten, all day long. So don't forget to, uh, if you are returning with your tasting card, like in, uh, because it's good for the whole time you're here, make sure to stop by the uh, ticketing counter here right at the front to get your ID wristbands. All right, we got our wristbands. We're gonna go check out a belly washer. I think we saw over here, one of the stations had some sort of shandy we're gonna go check out. Fresh made shandy, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right, that's what I want to try. Can you take it? I heard about it getting hot, so it was like yeah, 60, 70 good. is perfect. So, so this is the fresh, <laughs> fresh made shandy. So it looks like they pour some from a tap, and then they add the lemonade on top. Did you notice what the beer was? I did not. I should probably ask. I am by no means a connoisseur of anything, but I do really like Lining Kugel's Summer Shandy. This does not taste like that. Okay, what's it taste like? Gingling, I think they have there. 
Does it taste like yingling? You know, it sort of just tastes like um, sweet watered beer. Like, because uh, it's fresh, so they just added lemonade to like a beer off the tap. And it just tastes like, like you watered down a beer that wasn't meant to be watered down. It's not terrible, but if you like beer, you probably won't like this. And I actually like beer. What are you going to give it? I'm going to judge in your face. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and I'm, I'm going to give it a 2 out of 10. 2 out of 10. Fair. Out of 10. It's a neat idea. I was excited for it, but I definitely wouldn't do it again. Can't recommend it. No. Okay. Okay, so this is the fresh made shandy. So yeah, they pour a beer from the tap, lemonade in there. We'll give it a try here. I don't know, you got me nervous with your 2. Crystal gave it a 2 here, so... give it as low as a two. I think I'll, I'll give it like a five. It's not terrible. To me, it's like right in the middle. Like you said, it's just like beer with lemonade. Like, doesn't do it or I also don't, don't want to like really throw it away. But, belly washer, down. <laughs> you can't even finish it, huh? No. Walk it out. It's going right there. That's right, ladies. Couldn't even finish it. Ooh. This is the Cherry Coke float with Signature ice cream. It's a paper straw. Saving the planet one straw at a time. Tastes like cherry coke. So the signature ice cream is the cherry. same as. Yeah. Ice you think? Very good. Seven out of ten. I got the signature ice cream with wild berry crumble. So it has like berry ice cream with like a granola. It looks like frozen berries. Cherries, I think. I had some cherry in my ice cream. It's pretty good. The crumble, it's it's like a pie crust is what it tastes like actually. Is it warm? It's not warm, but it's soft. Moist, not soggy, but it's like, uh, when I think of a crumble, I think of something that's like hard or chewy. It's not by any means. It's very soft, almost cake-like with the berries and the ice cream. It's pretty good. It doesn't taste like cherry to me. The crumble or the ice cream? Any of it. Really? I taste the cherry in the ice cream. Maybe because I bit into a cherry. Get that fruit. Get that whole just cherry. just ate a fruit. Oh, there you go. I don't know. It's still... Cherry is not blueberry, maybe, is what I think I taste more than cherry. It's good. Whatever berry it is. I think I would have liked the crumble to be harder, like a granola. But it's all still very good. I'd give it probably a... 8 out of 10, only because it could have a little more flavor. I like my sweet sweet, but it's good. Alright, we're out in front of Farmhouse here. She's sitting in the horse's butt. Is it comfy? Actually, it is pretty comfy, although it's it's high up there. It's hard to climb into. Yeah. What'd you get to drink? Your belly washer? The gadget. I got the gadget from Belly Washer Station 1. It's a blackberry raspberry fruit sour. It, I already tasted it. It's good. It tastes like sour apple juice with like a raspberry That's, flavor. It's pretty good. It uh, has that like hit you alcohol taste because it has the sour, but it's good. I like it. I got the Fat Heads Ruby Juice. I actually had the Benjamin Danklin yesterday, so I do love Fat Heads beer. Very citrusy, it's like a medium weight. It's not like a Bud Light, but it's not like a hoppy 10% IPA. It's right in the middle. I wouldn't be surprised if this was like a 7% beer. But it's very good. I love Fat Heads. Can't go wrong with a Fat Heads beer. If you're looking for a sponsor, Fat Heads, right here. You found it, baby. <laughs> awesome. I give it 8 out of 10. 
little bit long. It's good. It's fast. So we have the Mo Mojo Whole Hog Sliders with the kimchi slaw here. This is also at booth number seven, the Smoked Cherry Brisket Slider with Cherry Barbecue Sauce. All right, Smoked Cherry Brisket Slider. Brisket's good. The Cherry Barbecue Sauce is definitely tastes like cherry. A little spicy, like a four out of 10 on the spicy scale, so it's got a little bit of a kick to it. Good. Give it a six out of ten. Pretty good. I got the whole the hog. whole hog slider with kimchi slaw. With kimchi slaw. I have to Google what that is because I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know how to describe it. <laughs> Cherry. It looks funny. It's not bad. It. I don't know. It really just tastes like cherry soaked bread. It is like the shredded chicken, but you don't really taste the chicken at all because the cherry flavor is so profound. It definitely has like a spice to it, but it's not like a hot spice. It's like flavorful. I'd give it like a five out of 10 for originality. It tastes good. It doesn't taste bad. It's just very, very, very cherry. -y. All right, so this is from booth number eight. This is the chocolate flourless cake. I think it's also gluten free. And this is the fruit salad. Uh, we did not get it with the cherry sauce. You can also get cherry sauce on this one here. So go ahead, you wanna try this one first, honey? Yep, I love dessert. So how does a chocolate flourless gluten free cake taste? Right up. Like a cake, nailed it. Very rich chocolate flavors. The cherry sauce they asked if we did or did not want it. I would definitely get it with the cherry sauce because it's a very rich, dense chocolate, but it's good. It tastes more like a fudge than a cake. I'd probably give it like a 9 out of 10. Nice. It's pretty good. It's, and it's good gluten free. Cake. Yeah, it's good. Alright, coming to you live with some gluten free cake. It's flourless. Mm. Good cake, right? Yeah, I definitely agree with you. It's like a fudge. But yeah, definitely good with the cherry sauce. The cherries on there, very good. It's like a pretty thick cherry sauce. It doesn't like drip or ooze. It's like a goo. But it's very good. Yeah. I give it 8 out of 10. Because it's more like a fudge and not really a cake, but... 8 to all around. Give some cake. The wings. Steak taco. Have a great day. Well, yeah, all the food we had today was pretty good too. So, what was your favorite? That would be mine. Steak taco, the wings, and chocolate cake. I would probably say the wings, the chocolate cake, <laughs> and I really liked the nachos. They were they were short, sweet, to the point, but I love nachos. Mm. Can't go wrong. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video for Frontier Festival. Don't forget, Frontier Festival only runs until June 19th this month. And also, tonight is the last night for Wild Frontier Nights, June 11th. So if you haven't checked out our Wild Frontier Nights, I'll put a link right up here. Make sure to check that out. Tonight's the last night they're doing it. It's a 21 and older event. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed this real family vacation. We'll see you next time.